Hello and welcome to Com 100's AI Chatbot Product Tour. I'm Matthew Jinks, the Product Marketing Manager here at Com 100, and today I'm happy because I get to walk you through a demonstration of the features and functionality of one of my favorite products. I should say that this will be an overview and I won't be showing you every little thing about our chatbot. It should last around 15 minutes and if by the end I've piqued your interest and you'd like to go more in depth, please email us at letschat at com100.com or chat with us on our website. There you can book your own personalized demo of our chatbot or any other products you might be interested in. So without further delay, let's dive in. This is a page that was created for demonstration purposes only. This first community bank is not a real bank, but I wanted to give you a sense of what a Com100 chatbot might look like once it's deployed on your website. All the conversation examples I'm going to be showing you fit within the banking use case, but I will explain how these examples can be used to accomplish goals outside of the banking context. So let's have a conversation with the bot. You can see it's proactively reaching out to me with an invitation. And when I click on it, a COM100 chat window opens and I am presented with a pre-chat form to fill in. I wanted to include it since it can be a great tool for routing conversations and for ensuring that your bot is only handling the chats you want it to. Depending on what you've built your bot for, you may want it to take all of your chats, a certain percentage of total chats, or only chats which pertain to a given topic. For example, if you were looking to deflect simple customer support requests to a chatbot so that your chat team could focus on more sophisticated tasks, you could set it up so that a visitor only gets the bot when someone selects personal banking or support in this drop-down menu. So let's do that now and start chatting with the bot. So the bot says to me, hi there, I'm First Community Bank's personal banking chatbot, here to answer your questions and complete simple banking tasks. I do best answering one short question at a time. If you get stuck, I can always connect you with a live agent. Let's get started. Try asking me what is my balance or select one of these options below. The greeting message for your chatbot is very important for setting expectations for the person interacting with the bot. People might not know what's possible or how to interact, so giving them clear instructions and providing them with preset options can really get things off on the right foot. Maybe I'm a new visitor who's looking to find a bank account that's right for me. There's this handy account selector button right here, which when I click it leads me down a path and guides my experience using quick reply buttons. These decision trees are great for sales use cases where you're working someone towards a conversion point like checking out, signing up, or in this case, booking a meeting with the bank. These can also be useful for when you're trying to troubleshoot someone's issue, and this requires asking a series of questions before a potential resolution can be recommended. So once I've got myself to the end of this workflow, I receive a recommendation for an account based on the responses that I gave. I'm offered this learn more button as well, which when I click on it, causes the chat window to expand and another page to open to the left. Now in this case, we have a generic knowledge base article, but you can use buttons like this to link to any web page. This can be really great for when someone asks a question which requires a complex answer, and rather than cramming all that information into a chatbot response, you can direct them to a web page ex which explains everything in detail. This side menu is a standard iframe, so provided the target page is optimized for mobile, it will display nicely here. Another way to make use of this pop-out side window is for forms. In this case, I have a meeting booking form which is hosted also on this website. You know, it can be really difficult, especially if you have a lot of different forms on your site, for someone to find the one that they're actually looking for. So delivering these forms based on conversational context can make that process a lot simpler for your site visitors. Or, you know, like in this case, the bank probably wants to book meetings with prospective clients, so why not recommend that I do that once I've just worked my way through this account selection process? Now that whole process was an example of a structured conversation, but the bot can have unstructured conversations as well. For example, I'll ask, do you offer a rewards program? And you can see that the bot has fetched me some information on this bank's rewards program. So how does the bot do this? Well, COM100's chatbot uses natural language processing to understand the question being asked. This means I can ask the same question in just about any way that I can think of, and the bot will be able to answer correctly provided the question is related to a topic that the bot has been equipped to answer. Having this capability really unlocks the conversational ability of chatbots and makes it possible for the bot to engage in realistic conversations. 
The answers the bot gives can be in a variety of formats, including images and videos. Here's an example of a video response that uses the pop outside menu as the delivery method. This means that the bot can leverage the right medium for its response and you aren't forced to try and explain everything through text. Bot responses can also be location based. I'm going to ask, where is the nearest branch to me? And the bot will recognize that in order to answer a question like that, it needs to know where I am first, of course. The bot will ask me to share my location and when I do, it returns the address of the branch which is nearest to me. This response type is great for other things like giving visitors directions or maybe telling them about a regional sale. It's also an example of personalization, something which the bot can do a lot more of when it's been integrated into your tech stack. Common Hunter's chatbot can fetch answers from other business systems like a CRM or in this case, uh, it might be a core banking system. And it can push data to these systems as well. This makes the bot ideal for functions like order taking and account management. And I'll show you what I mean. Here I'm asking the bot, what is my balance? And when I do, it knows it needs to gather a few pieces of information before it can return that response. Firstly, it needs me to sign into my account. It needs me to know who I am, of course, and it needs to know that I have permission to view this information. Here we are using a test login environment, but Common 100's single sign-on feature allows your chatbot to use the same methods of authentication your business already has in place and trusts. So I'm going to sign in as Kevin today, and once I'm in, the bot sees that I have two different accounts it can pull balances from. So I'm asked to choose between the two. Let's choose savings, and then it will be able to tell me my balance. Another feature I want to highlight is the ability of the bot to recognize when it already has what it needs within the question. If I ask the same question again, but this time say, what is my checking balance? The bot can see that I have already signed in and it can also parse out of the question that I've stated which account that I'm looking for this time. So it won't ask me the same questions again. It will simply be able to return the balance because I stated within the question that I'm looking for my checking account. So that's an example of how I can pull data in from other systems, but I can also push data to those systems and make updates as well using the bot. I'm going to ask the bot, I want to move money from my savings account. And when I do, the bot asks me to open up a form and you can see that it's also picked up on the fact that I specified my savings account as the account I want to transfer money from. And let's say I want to move $10.10 to my checking. I can submit this form and since it's integrated with the third party system, it updates the balances within that system and then tells me the updated values in the response it gives me back. And now I want to talk about something different and that's that we know not all conversations are meant for bots. Chatbots are great at automating frequently asked questions and performing transactional requests because they're always accessible you know, lightning quick and do exactly as they're told. But there are lots of instances where an interaction is either too complex or too sensitive for a bot. When someone comes in and instead of saying, what's my balance, they say, I want to cancel my account or I want to apply for a loan. You want to be able to quickly identify those higher value interactions and escalate the conversation to a human as quickly as possible. Using COM 100's monitoring and smart trigger system, you can easily configure when, why, and how agents get involved in bot conversations. I'm going to flip to our agent console for a second to show you what it looks like when someone is chatting with a bot on your website. This is the visitors tab where you can see all your website visitors in real time. And here we can see that this person, me, is currently chatting with a bot. And as a chat agent, I can always monitor a bot conversation for quality control and take it over if I see things going off the rails. Flipping back to the bot now, you can also tell the bot to watch for certain topics of conversation or questions and have the bot escalate to an agent if they come up. In this case, I'm going to say, I want to apply for a loan. The bot tells me that this is out of its area of expertise and fetches a live agent to continue the conversation. Back to the agent console, I can see the entire conversation history so that I can get a head start on the conversation and respond in context. In this case, I'm going to say, uh, I see that you're applying for a loan. I can help you with that. The last topic I wanted to touch on today is the maintenance and learning of your bot. 
you know, how do you keep your bot up with the changing landscape of customer questions and queries? One thing that we've learned from deploying chatbots is that it's almost impossible to guess 100% what people will want to end up doing with your bot and the questions they're going to be asking. There's always going to be some gaps and some responses that are going to need updating. And as your business changes, your bot will need to keep up too. So that's why we've made it easy to know what customers are asking and where the gaps are and which responses might need to be updated. And we do that in a few ways. The first is with a simple thumbs up, thumbs down feedback system. If a response gets thumbs down, it will go to the learning portal, which I'll show you in a second here. And there a bot admin can take a look at it and see if the response is in fact low quality or missing information, or maybe someone just didn't like the answer they got. The second way is when someone asks a question where the bot is either unsure of the answer or completely in the dark. I'll ask, what is your favorite type of pizza? And sure enough, the bot has said, I don't really understand this question. Here's a suggested topic, but clearly the bot just doesn't have the right answer. Questions like this will also end up in the learning portal. So let's hop over to that now. So this is the learning portal. This is where all the questions are aggregated that your bot is saying, hey, help me with these. And if I sort by today, I can see my question, what is your favorite type of pizza, uh, ready for me to address. If I already have a response written to this question and I say, hey, you should have given that answer, I can attach that question to that response so that when the question gets asked in the future, that response is given. Or if it's something completely foreign, I can create a brand new response if I think this question is worth it for the bot to be able to answer in the future. Now, it's worth mentioning that all of this can be done without any advanced technical knowledge. In fact, your entire bot can be built using our code-free UI, which means you can always be in control of the way your bot functions and the responses it gives. Okay, that's the end of the COM100 AI chatbot product tour. If you'd like to learn more about bot building or talk about how a COM100 chatbot could be used to serve your customer base, email us at letschat at com100.com or chat with us on our website. And if you want to view tours like this one of other Common 100 products, we offer those on our website as well. Bye for now.